Well, here it is. One of the most insane decks I've ever made that's actually pretty good. So, for a long time now, I've been wanting to make a, a very specific kind of deck. So, not just, oh, take your archetype and, you know, whatever, whatever it is you think is good and stuff. But I wanted to put in stuff that I think it's not as good as it without it, but like something that's pretty dang fun with it. And that is the deck that I like to call Pendosaurus, which is your typical dinosaur deck, just at pendulums. So, uh, I think, okay, that's kind of weird. Why, why would you add pendulums to, to dinosaur deck? Especially with the Transcendosaurus archetype specifically, you know, plus your generic dinosaur stuff. Well, well, let's just say, so you know how Transcendosaurus their thing is that they like to use Xena Meteoris and the, and the level 6 normal mon no, normal dinosaur monster. Well, it just so happens that there are two normal dinosaur monsters that are also pendulums that work well together. So Fire Opal Head and um, Lance Ferencus. So if you know who, what Lance Ferencus is, it's the pendulum version that came up before it. So... Turns out those two work very well within the context of Dinosaur. So, I decided, okay, how about I put these two in and just work in my usual thing of getting as many different summoning mechanics as possible into one deck. Granted, the fusion aspect of this deck isn't that great, but mostly because it uh, it really needs the specific spells related to Xenomioris. Uh... But otherwise, it has, it's very good at the other summoning mechanics. Well, summoning ritual, but that's not an extra deck mechanic. So, yeah. That's all I gotta say here. So, um, I was going to put a replay of it facing against Brandon, my least favorite archetype possible. And, uh, yeah, it was a very, like, short duel, short enough duel. It, it all is is just me negating, uh, uh, Ice Jade. No, the Ice Jade, um, Mirror Jade with, uh, Barone. Uh, that, that's really all you need to know about that. Now, this archetype, well, this archetype, not archetype, this subset archetype with Transcendosaurus, right? So, this deck can summon Baron very easily. This deck has its own, you know, different, you know, synchros. The big synchro you see here with 3600 attack, like, or no, with nothing else going on. It's generic, technically. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, all, all this other stuff. So, you see here the synchro, the link stuff now. Scrap Rat, uh, Scrap Wyvern is actually part of an earlier build of the deck. I, if I'm mistaken, I did took it off the deck because I, I feel like it, it wasn't really contributing well to the deck. Uh, all, all it did was you know, help out get Scrap Raptor back, which I feel like in this contest isn't that great. Now I want to show off this guy here because the only royal like royal uh, rarity of, of one of the Tristana swords I have is the Link Monster, which honestly doesn't get used all that much, like even in the context of this deck. Because, again, it's a three-material monster. So, uh, I don't use it all that much. But I, I just use it when I don't really have much other options. But it's a pretty good option, you know, if you want, you know, big number. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this specific tool on a smaller scale, what it can do. Now, let's try apply it into uh, the dual triangle event from earlier, which is, you know, Fusion or Synchro as Xyz. Now... This deck is actually really good in XCs. So I decided to take it and make it more XCs focused into the dual triangle. And my goodness, did I really love it in this context, in, as a just XCs deck. Which is kind of surprising. You know, personally, I think it's pretty surprising like how well this does. Especially considering the Valzars, um, which is which set up the XCs monsters like the supposed to go for the Voltile, Reptile, the Volsar, and the Volzar with a Z. Uh, yeah. So anyway, the Pendulums! This is the purpose of this deck, to Pendulum Summon. Because these two, you know, they, uh, they're Pendulum 1 through 6, which is all the dinosaurs. All, all, the, all the relevant dinosaurs. And now I have the spell Pendulum XCs, which what that does is... Uh, yeah, gets both of your monsters from your pendulum zones in, in the same level like C summon using them. So, 
This is probably the best case scenario of what to do with Pen uh, Pentasaurus. Is get the two Pendulum Monsters, do your Pendulum Summon, and activate Pendulum Xyz, get Lars. And then from there you can probably get other stuff like get Lagia. Uh, now unfortunately I am, in this case, locked to Dinosaur. Now because of Xenomioris, it's a fed locks me to Dinosaur, even if this is not an Xyz focused... Uh, event, I can't summon Barone with this because I'm out locked to Dinosaur and there, if I'm mistaken, there isn't any, there isn't any level 10, di level 10 Dinosaur Synchros, if I'm not mistaken, or if there were, there aren't any good ones. There, there, there's a good 8, there's a good 12, but there's no good 10. So anyway, we do that and then, and then go and see some into this thing. Now, this thing is actually pretty interesting, it's kind of something I found out uh, while making the deck. Because, uh, what does, it's a, it's a special summon. So, and because of that, uh, I can detach spell summon dinosaur, even in, you know, if, uh, solely will be raptors in the graveyard, which will be the, which will be this turn. Uh, I could just, you know, summon it, do its effect, that sort of thing, and pop off from there. So, yeah, I really like this, with that particular XC that I forget the name of, but it's actually pretty useful. Of course, it's not as useful as Lars or Lagia, but in the context of what I'm doing right now, it's a very useful thing. So, detach, get Soli over after, do your thing, get your car, get Xenomioris, pop uh, pop the baby, and uh, now here's something I don't remember why I did. I don't remember why I did this, but um, I pop the baby, get, you know, get, oh, get the, get the six, you know, Get that, then the baby fizzles out because I ran out of zones. But I specifically wanted the uh, the Frostosaurus so I can get the Transcendosaurus Xyz. Do I need to do this? No, but I do. But I think it's pretty dang cool. I think maybe I didn't actually didn't need them, but whatever. Point is that, yeah, I, I really like this deck. So we're gonna see. Hopefully, you can see a lot more of this deck, not just in the Xyz context, but in general. But for right now, see you guys later.